So if you've uh, bought one of these Shelter Logic tents, you know you might want to start out with building a uh, a base, depending on how permanent or uh, how long term you want to keep the uh, structure up, right? Because then it just makes it easier to set her up. I've uh, added these extra supports just to, you know, give it some more structure at the top. I don't have them torqued down too tight, but they are. Like, Pretty tense, just to give it some more support at the top. I got it on all four corners. Yeah, uh, you, you do have to unpack the the snow off the roof there, else you know you'll have issues. Could lose the whole thing, right? It's really important that you get everything laid out. Read the instructions. These things basically keep the whole sides and top tight so kind of the tighter you have those uh, the better the snow load will, will will come off right but you still gotta take care of it I got it drilled in on all of them right it's all level there's a fence behind there so the back piece isn't really that good but We've had some pretty good wind storms and she hasn't gone anywhere. You know, I paid I think 200 bucks for the thing. It's regularly 400. You just take some of that money you saved and buy some supplies to, you know, anchor her down. I got you know, hook rings I bought for D rings. This ratchet set, you know, they're rated for 1200 pounds, but you know, I don't got nowhere near that on it. Now, basically, they want you to build the roof first, and then uh, you gotta build the sides. It takes more than two hours. I don't know how anyone could do this in under two hours. The, the stamping's so small and poorly done, half the numbers are written off on it. Like, Once it's done though, it feels pretty good. Worth every penny. <laughs> 